Yeah, <laughs> what up? Welcome back to another video guys. Today we're going to be covering up these analog rings because they look filthy. So we're going to go from that to that. Alright guys, so really quick before we get into the video, this is the box that everything comes in. Um, it comes in all blacked out, it comes in black and silver, and it comes out in chromed as well. Obviously, I want to get rid of the chrome on the bike because I want kind of, I want to have a nice clean look. I want everything blacked out. But I have a little bone to pick with Harley Davidson because I'm going to show you guys the instructions to how you're supposed to install this. And it literally states here, cut double-sided tape, put it on the inside of this, and just clap it down. Like, really, bro? Like, cut double-sided tape and add it to here? Like, it would have been so simple for them to just add a strip of tape in there already with the piece. Just peel off the top, place it down, and that would have been much easier. But I got to go out of my way now and do this. It's, it's simple and it's very easy to do, but it's, like, tedious for me to just sit here and snip, snip, snip in order just to, I don't know, I just... It, it just bothered me so much and the fact that these things are so expensive they're $75 a piece and yeah you're paying $75 not for not for the two of them you're paying $75 for one yes one of this is $75 so we got a grand total of $149 for two little plastic not even metal plastic black covers bro Harley Davidson be getting us and it's like eh. You know, we complain and stuff, but we still do stupid stuff like this. Um, I didn't mind it so much because I received a uh, Harley Davidson gift card for Father's Day. So I was like, let me just put it towards this. I'll just get it. But after ordering now, I'm like, wait a minute. I could have just basically just plastic dipped this. I could have just easily got some plastic dip and done the job. And I would have saved myself $145. But anyways, enough ranting. Let's get on to the video. Let's get on to the install. Um, if you're wondering where I got this from, I got this from Harley Davidson. So I ordered it online. It got here within a week or so. And that's it. I mean, um, it's going to look really cool once I do it. So, I mean, whatever. All right, guys. So I'm going to give you guys a shot of what it looks like now with the chrome analog rings on top. And this is what it's going to look like afterwards. So obviously a huge huge change as you can see let me show you guys again chrome and blacked out beautiful So now that we got all the double-sided tape on there, I already went ahead and I took off all the uh, top part of the black tape. So you could just simply just take your black covers and just firmly press it over, push down. I would say just hold it in place for a few seconds or so, maybe 10 or 20 seconds. Just apply pressure all around it, make sure that it sticks to it really good. Now, I don't know why they went this route. Um, I really don't. <laughs> um, you know, honestly, I thought um, prior to me purchasing it, I thought that I would be having to maybe uh, pick apart the chrome part out of here. I thought that was just like an easy little, you know, pulling it off type of thing. But I guess it's not the case. I'm going to go ahead and do the other second one now. And I just hope that later on with the heat, this doesn't come off. Because sometimes in a lot of heat, uh, things like this tend to come off. But it's pretty stable. Like, I'm trying to jiggle it off, and it seems pretty good. Let me wipe this down real quick. 
and then uh, get a nice little shot of it, man. It looks beautiful. I'm really happy with the way it looks. Just, it's so crazy how such a little, little detail like that can change the whole look of the bike now. Like, it just changed the whole aspect of it. I love it. Now, the next thing I want to do is kind of get rid of these uh, bolts right here. Kind of black those out. Black out everything else. Black out any other type of bolts up here. All right, guys. So, there you go. Nice little easy DIY project that anybody can do at home. Doesn't take a rocket scientist. Doesn't take anybody with any type of... Any type of brains to do this because this is how easy it is. It looks beautiful, right? I'm really, really happy the way that looks, man. It just cleaned everything up so nice. Love it. If you guys haven't seen the video to my uh, Bunk King Crash Bar install, that's also up now. If you guys want to see videos so the install of the grips, that's up. All right, guys. Now, there's install videos on all the parts you see here on the Saddleman seat, on the TBR exhaust on the Memphis Shades fairing, on the grips, on the Lucky Speed Shop levers, on the bunking crash bar, on the lay down lights plate holder. There's reviews and there is how-to videos on all these parts that I do. If this is the type of content you're into, you're in the right place, go ahead and subscribe right now. Hit that bell button to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. Like always, ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.